Y'all see what's been going on with Israel and oh, Palestine, shit. right? Yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Though. You don't have to. I would love to be enlightened on it. You though. don't have to know anything about it. But my question is, y'all, y'all heard about like what's going on over there in Israel? Yeah. And uh, like, with yeah. the, like with bit. the Palestinian people and shit's fucked up. Yeah, it's very fucked up. Um, I'm trying to figure out why we helping their ass. Why are we fighting in the war? It's, it's a fucked up situation. So did y'all see DJ Vlad's tweet? Oh, Sorry, he said like, why uh, DJ Khaled? I mean, I'm and, gonna read it. Yeah. He says, has anyone noticed? That the most famous Jewish person on earth, Drake, and the most famous Palestinian person on earth, DJ Khaled, haven't said a single thing about the Gaza-Israel conflict. It's not like Drake is too busy. He's been writing paragraphs about Joe Budden hurting his feelings about overtime, <laughs> promoting his new... I'm sorry. He's been writing paragraphs about Joe Budden hurting his feelings about his new album. DJ Khaled has been working overtime, promoting his new Jordan sneakers, but both of them have been silent on this topic. Why is that? It's because they're both are so thirsty to maintain their relevance that they wouldn't dare risk insulting a segment of their fan base. Heaven forbid that Drake might debut at number 10 behind Taylor Swift because some of his Palestinian fans chose not to stream his album. And it would be the end of the world if DJ Khaled sold a few less sneakers because some Jewish people decided not to buy his Jordans. Damn, that's is that the, long? That's the difference between artists of today and timeless legends like Tupac. You know damn well Pac would be the first one to speak about something so close to home. I get both sides of it. First, I have so many points. It's like, first is like, who, what the fuck are they gonna like? What's the, what's they gonna change of, of them making a tweet like about just talking about it, giving their like saying something about it? I get um Arguable. maybe like uh doing a fundraiser or not fundraiser like a, like donating to some shit. And most times when people do that, they don't even like tweet about it. Or some people yeah. do and shit like that. So that's one side of it. But I mean. Like what? 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 What can they possibly do? Like I don't know. I would say it depends on how big, because like yeah, Drake might be Jewish and Khaled might be Palestinian, whatever the fuck. Um, that doesn't mean they're that in tune with those people or that those that specific region. So they might not have anything to say. Mm. They might be like Drake reps Canada. The nigga doesn't rep the Jewish people over there. He doesn't even rep being Jewish like that. He might mention in a song or two, but like he doesn't go walk around going, "I'm Jewish." Nah, if anything, he says he's black. So he's going to stand up for black what people. I, what I will say is, um, at one point, Drake definitely was kind of repping that Jewish shit pretty heavy. Like, yeah, like one of his videos, he has like a bar, bar mitzvah thing with uh, Hell Yeah Fucking Right. And like, nice. it's like, so he's he's always kind of mentioned that he was Jewish. He's kind of strayed away from it over the recent years where he doesn't talk about it so much anymore. But at one point, I will say like, he was pretty much immersed in that so yeah that then culture. i feel if you're kind of like repping it like that you yeah, should you, feel obligated to some sort of level to like say something at least or to a certain extent yeah a certain like extent but then again do they really have but, to but yeah it, but then again it's like do you really have to and then it's like, like this, just this, because my change? statue doesn't mean i have to say something about an event right. going on in the world i could care less like I mean, he said, a, little, a wise a man once said nothing at all. So yeah. he just says nothing at all. He doesn't it's, say anything. Yeah, it's, it's, I can understand both sides yeah, I get of both it. Sides. Yeah, it's like, because at the end of the day, I mean, I get what, what Vlad was saying because he's like, bro, like y'all might be able to like help people like something out, like your yeah, voice. It's basically like your voice holds weight. Drink. Like maybe y'all come together and y'all be like, yo, you know, whatever, whatever type of movement they yeah, can they do. They could probably actually change some shit. But on the other end of it, it they might be saying like, bro, like, I understand like we've worked yeah. to get where we are, but like we don't we're not political people. Yeah, maybe they're not that educated yeah, on the topic. They're not, like, and, they, to, like, they, and don't get me wrong, and they could get educated on it. Because right, I got educated right. on it very quick. There's so many like back So and that's forth. not a I don't I'm not gonna call that an excuse that they can't get educated because it's not that difficult to get educated on the topic. It's just if you but, care enough. Correct. So it's like you don't have to it's like there's things that nobody like I, like does my voice matter matter about it or not just because I don't have a platform? You know what I'm saying? So yeah. for them, it's like just because they have a platform, we got to expect them to talk about certain things just because mm -hmm. they have the reach to do so. Mm -hmm. That's like if you expect a LeBron James to say something every time something happens to a black person. Like, yeah. Maybe he don't want to say nothing about nothing. Yeah. I remember Michael Jordan was getting heat back because he never – Talked right. about political topics, like kind of in his room, I guess, of mm -hmm. certain shit back in like the late nineties and shit. And then and he, he still don't. He said Republican buy, Republicans buy shoes too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he just kind of, but he was on some like, I just 
that's not my field. Like, I'm not that into that shit. So like, why would I need to say something? I get my platform. It was one of those things. Like yeah. he, he would like respond to interviews, basically saying shit like that. So that's kind of how. Well, they try to compare everybody to everybody. Like they yeah. said, like back then it was, oh, Muhammad Ali did this. So why can't you say something? Yeah. Or like the like yeah, Tupac said the stuff and did this and did this. Well, nigga, I'm not none of them. I'm, to, a, exactly, to a certain yeah, extent, yeah. we gotta realize that just because someone's famous doesn't mean that they, they be the most be, political. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't mean that they should be talking on certain things. No. Right. I, I but again, I do understand why we might want them to because we think maybe they can help do some cooling off if they decide to speak out. Yeah. And then I, I, oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was gonna say I just feel like if he, if like they're not gonna win. Drake's not like Drake's not gonna win in any way. Which is not, I'm not saying it's about winning, but like yeah. There's always there's gonna be one side that's not happy. Like people are gonna be upset with him regardless. Yeah, because then I feel like a backfire. Because you know, mm-hmm. before he probably post some shit, his team's looking at it and shit. Then I could, I feel like if they would do do respond to it, it could be some like fucking media train ass answer where it doesn't feel genuine and it's like all fake and shit. Mm-hmm. Like he you know, who LeBron be doing that? You know when he's like does talks about shit and it just seems so forced and yeah. not real. So it can people get mad at that and shit. Like it's right. he can respond and then people react the opposite way of what you would think yeah. they would and then it makes them actually look saying, worse. Yeah. So it's better just to say nothing and and, and Drake, avoid all of it. Uh, Damned if you do then and LeBron commented on the whole the whole situation. I know y'all not familiar with it, but he I think com- I've seen that. Yeah, he commented on the situation, and what he commented, it, it really didn't make too much sense. That's my point. Yeah, yeah it can just it come like, out weird. He's very, he's it kind of showed that he wasn't very edgy. And I'm a LeBron fan, but I'm, I can say like, yo, nigga, you just stay away from the topic because you weren't very educated on the topic um, at that. Like, but based off the statement he put, because I'm not gonna get into the whole politi- politics of it, but it's like these these people have been oppressed for fucking seventy plus years now. So sad. like there's some fighting back now and everyone's like now we want to make a big deal about it but at the end of the day bro this is kind of just what what it looks like. I'm not saying it's right or that it's that it's nice to see happen. It's just some shit is beyond us, bro.